Whoa. So this is how a burnt building look like. Woo! Hello guys, my name is Doke and today I'm gonna go to a place that I never ever visited before. It's an abandoned factory or shop or whatever, I'm not really sure. We will see when we get there, but yeah, I met a random girl in a graffiti shop and she told me that I have to visit the place that it is a great spot and so here I am okay uh -huh, uh -huh. This is it. This looks like the place. Okay. There are some peeps in bright orange clothes behind my car at this moment. But I believe that they are here because of the rails, not because of the building. Anyways, before I go inside with all my things and colors and everything, I'll give you, but also myself, a tour of the place. And we will try to find a good spot for us, for, for the painting, for sure. But yeah, first, let's just check it out, because you never know what you find at places like this. I expected some nice graffiti. Anyways, welcome to the trash yard. That's big. Hmm, the first impression is pretty good because there is there is a ton of buildings man that piece over there that's a piece created by some of my old friends that has to be like five years old at least i'm not really sure what should i expect inside of the buildings ah uh. Yeah, as you can see on the ground, there is plenty of tires, which fits the description that I had about this place. It used to be an old tire factory, maybe not a factory, maybe just a shop, but the size of this object tells me that it was not just a shop, it's too big for it. Ha! Another piece by my friend he used to have a name Hare and the crew was BQS. Nice. Ah Smart and Rems. You might know both of these from my videos. 2018. That's pretty old. Well, two years old. So that was the first building. I'll go there later. Let's check the building number two. This seems like a good wall. But anyways, the second first impression that I'm getting at this moment is how the hell is possible that I have never ever visited this place? Just look at the amount of walls. I mean, they are in a pretty bad condition. At some places, but this wall, for example, is awesome. There are airsoft balls everywhere because during the weekends, people like to come over here and play airsoft. Man, this is old. This guy, he used to paint like seven years ago. <laughs> Look at the size of this place. Man, 
man! I guess that these are the stairs to the upper floor. I'm not really sure if I want to go to the upper floor. There are literally holes in the ceiling, so I'll stay on the ground for, for now. It's even harder to believe that I've never ever been here when I consider the fact that my old studio used to be like 10 minutes away, 10 minutes from this place. Tires, tires everywhere, wow. Another old friend who used to paint back in the days. Yeah, that's that's the piece that I talked about in the beginning. Be quies by Hare. This is what I've been afraid of. I've been afraid of that I'll find people living over here. I suddenly saw a phone, a cup of coffee and a bag over there. And then I saw a bed on the ground, which means that there is someone living in this part. I mean, these people are mainly okay. They are friendly most of the time, but you never know. And just imagine that someone suddenly walks into, right into your bedroom when you're sleeping. You wouldn't want that. This used to be the entrance. This is the big building number three with a burned roof. Ooh, this is not a nice place to be. Just check out the roof. You don't want that to fall on your head. Also, this ceiling doesn't look good. Well, this doesn't look good at all. Ooh. To be honest, I don't like these walks through these places because you never know what's behind the corner. I mean, I almost stepped on a sleeping guy 10 minutes ago. Huh. Snacks for later. Okay. Building number four. Yeah, there, there is a car over there. So we are getting to the end of this area. Ooh, this is nasty. Just look at the amount of cigarettes and bottles of cheap wine. This is probably the last building. Building number four? No, five. I lost it already. Wow. Someone built a skate park over here. I mean, the floor is almost perfect for skateboarding. Nice. Yeah, I would rather meet skateboarders than homeless guys, but the ideal situation is that I won't met anybody. That's nice. Whoa. So this is how a burnt building looked like. This looked like someone's clubhouse.
Okay, I won't go over there. My assumption is that someone lives here because this is like a living room and I saw bats over there so yeah you never want to walk into someone's bedroom I told you that already but yeah if I'm correct this is the last building of this of this place I'll check Google just to make sure yep this is it this is the end so we have seen every building in this location I have to say that I'm impressed and so right now I just need to find the spot and paint yeah there are some rails workers they don't care but anyways the problem with these places is that basically every single wall is already taken there are pieces everywhere which is a common thing at legal spots but in squats people see it a bit different you know like it's not all that common that you paint over somebody in squats like if you remember that guy who painted my felicita as far as i know he did it because we painted over him in a squat but yeah i have to go over somebody so i'll just try to do it with a respect i just came to my car for the cans and there is a lot going on over here look well let's just hope that they won't mind my presence so this is the spot that i picked there are a lot better walls in this area but i like this one because there is this hole it's structured it's it's interesting and the piece that is already here it's nothing fancy the piece below it it's still visible so yeah i'm sorry but i hope that you understand anyways first of all i need to do some cleaning Okay, let's do it. Bell. All right, time for the background in 3D. I guess that for the first time in history, I'm having too much clothes.
Okay, guys, I am done. I have to admit that the first time, first half of the painting was kind of meh for me. But I really enjoyed the shading and the piece turned out pretty good in my opinion. So, if you like it too, thumb up would be awesome. And let me know what you think about this place. I'm having a feeling that this is not the last time I'm here, right? This is it. Thank you.